This is Gene Key, SkyServe News. From WFAA.com, the search continues for an arsonist who doused a woman with gasoline and burned down a Saginaw business Tuesday night. The woman, whose identity has not been released by authorities, was able to escape the blaze at the 6,000-square-foot Sisters Antique Mall and Tea Room in Saginaw, Texas, open for less than one year. The business is considered a total loss after the attack. Saginaw Fire Investigators and the Federal Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms were at the scene looking for clues. The suspect ran off and has not been seen since. The woman who was the focus of the attack was taken to a hospital as a precaution for minor burns. The Associated Press reports police have determined that a four-year-old boy found his mother's gun and fatally shot his three-year-old brother at their Central Texas home. Killeen police on Tuesday identified the victim as three-year-old Jordan Kenneth Jones. Investigators believe Saturday's shooting was an accident. No one has been charged and the investigation continues. Police say the youngsters were in their mother's bedroom while she was in another part of the house. Police say that woman had put the handgun on top of the chest of drawers, thinking the weapon was out of the children's reach. Police say the four-year-old boy managed to get the gun and shoot his little brother. KVUE.com reports authorities have arrested three more people in connection with the kidnapping and possible sexual assault of a woman who was apparently snatched during Mardi Gras festivities. Galveston police said they went to Friendswood to find Daryl Johnson, Greg Hall, and Daniel Rogers. All three were charged with aggravated kidnapping. On Monday afternoon, police arrested Aaron Lededrick Brown, 20, of Friendswood. He was also charged with aggravated kidnapping. A woman, 23, reported early Sunday evening that she was abducted from the 2300 block of the Strand. The woman told police she was forced into a car and sexually assaulted there. Then the men allegedly drove her to an apartment complex in Friendswood and allegedly sexually assaulted her again. KHOU.com reports hundreds of Portuguese man-of-war jellyfish have washed up on the north end of South Padre Island. Tony Reisinger, a coastal research agent with the state of Texas, said the jellyfish likely washed ashore in mass after preying on fish in the area. He said they go where there's food and they depend on the wind and we usually have what we call blooms in different areas and right now there's a lot of fish that are spawning. If you like the latest Texas news on your mobile device, you can follow on YouTube. Simply search SkyServe News or Gene Key. You can also follow me on Facebook or Twitter. This is Gene Key, SkyServe News.